Greetings duelists and welcome to another video. So uh, on the last video that I made I profiled uh, Vanquish Soul that is the deck that I'm piloting this format. Um, what I'm going to do now is give you a deck report because I did play today at locals um, but I'm going to do a little bit more than that. Not only I'm going to like talk about my locals experience with the deck because I did play the deck at that 3v3 case tournament yesterday. Um, but I kind of want to talk on in depth of like why I am playing this deck right now. Um, and if I re regretted my choices after today or not. And just go over my tournament experience because I feel like... Um, there are a th lot of things to learn when it comes to this game and like i feel like with my locals experience today i learned a lot of things that i did not before and i think sharing whatever uh piece of knowledge that i have with you guys could also aid you guys as much as i it aided me as well so um i went x3 at locals today um my losses were to Chimera Branded, uh, Regular Branded, and Dinomorphia. Um, I gave the win to a Dinomorphia player. Um, Shoutouts to Abdiel if you're watching this. Um, like uh, He was still learning the game, but uh, he had better tiebreakers than me. And I, I feel like uh, I kind of want to give many players a chance... Uh, to do not not only to do well, but to learn about their decks more than me just trying to win uh, events. If me losing a game means that my opponent is learning and doing well at, with their strategy and being more comfortable at the game, then I really don't mind those kind of losses. Um, my loss against Chimera Branded was due to a very rough misplay. Um, I can talk about the misplay uh, after I talk about like a uh, bit of the deck. Um, if you ever want me to do like simulated plays involving like uh, like the duels that I had, or like do future recordings of duels, uh, let me know in the comments. Um, I can do my best to arrange those uh, in the future. But yeah, uh, my first loss was to Chimera Branded. Uh, game one, uh, he pretty much resolved this entire engine and he kind of steamrolled me out of the game. Uh, game two, uh, I managed to like resolve the Heat Soul, um, the Heat Soul Burger combo uh, with Parallel Exceed and I just drew way too many cards. Uh, I also resolved uh, the rescue a simples so like on his turn between my turn and his turn I drew like six cards and that was just way too much hand advantage uh, for him to handle um, game three I opened ash blossom and ghost bell and he opened branded fusion and the mirror sword knight and I made the number one reason I lost that game is because uh, I miss sequenced my cards and I didn't use the right priority for the right cards to hit to stop his strategy and that pretty much lost me the game um, basically uh, I guess old school branded Ash Blossom on the branded fusion would have been always the correct play. However, against the Chimera version, you don't want to use your Ash Blossom on branded fusion. You want to use this for Mirror Sword Knight. Um, you want to, uh, if you have another hand trap like Ghost Bell, it's better to use Ghost Bell to whatever they summon with branded fusion than to use Ash Blossom. Because if you Ghost Bell, whatever they summon with Branded Fusion, and then you hold Ash Blossom for the Mirror Sword Knight, uh, you pretty much like st are stopping your opponent like very, very, very hard, unless they have like other proper extenders. Um, so that's one loss that I had. Uh, again, if you want me to do another video more in depth on like how to properly use cards against like certain strategies, uh, just let me know. Uh, so, 
my second loss was to Branded. And this was my specific hand. I didn't lose because of me pseudo breaking. Um, I'm going to explain how I made this hand possible, uh, playable. Uh, but uh, I guess I'll explain uh, what happened after I did. Uh, I had this hand. So, at first glance, you look at this hand and you're probably thinking that it is almost unplayable. However, uh, like if you saw the previous deck profile, I showcased the extra deck and I showcased the reason I'm playing like Parallel Exceed. And you will notice how this hand is actually more than playable. So I was facing the branded player. I went first. It, there was like seven minutes in the round. And the first play I did was I normal summoned uh, DD Crow. And then after that, I linked away the DD Crow. And I summoned Salomon Great All Mirage. Um, on upon All Mirage summon, I, so I activated Parallel Exceed. So I summoned Parallel, and then I summoned the second copy. And then uh, I pretty much uh, had two choices. Um, choice number one is make Baguska and put my opponent on, like, he better have the out to the Baguska. Otherwise, uh, I'm, I'm going to do, like, another play on another turn. And just wait until like I draw into my engine cards. The second play, which is the one I did, was instead of summoning Baguska, I summoned the Battling Boxer King Dempsey, and with Dempsey's effect, I foolished, uh, I sent to the graveyard uh, the Rosin. And upon sending the Rosin, I then activated Continue. And then used continuous effect to bring back the rosin. The ro uh, at that point, at that moment, I'm already below. Uh, I'm I, I'm already my uh, under life, like less than my opponent. So it is kind of like a fringe situation. But pretty much what I ended up doing is I paid five hundred. I summoned the rosin. The rosin added me um, heavy burger. It added me the heavy burger to hand, and then what I ended up doing was the heavy burger. I, I, I spent back the rosin. The heavy burger was on board, and then with the heavy burger, I revealed um, earth and fire to burn for fifteen hundred, and then in my opponent's turn, I revealed uh, these two again, and I burned them again for fifteen hundred. And I just put him on. He better just have whatever he needs uh, to play the game. Otherwise, and and just hope that the D Crow was enough. Um, sadly, that's not what happened. What ended up happening uh, was that um, my opponent activated Branded Fusion and he sent the Dark Magician. Uh, and with Lobelion's effect, he just made. Uh, Dragoon and when the Lubellion got summoned I pretty much already thought that he was already going to do Dragoon so what I ended up doing was I activated I tried to activate the Caesar to jump the Heavy Burger and then I activated the King Dempsey to make them undestructible by card effects. And then my misplay was, um, I, I guess I don't know if I could call it a misplay, but uh, when he summoned Dragoon, um, I didn't chug gun the Almirage. I waited for him to do the burn effect. Um, so what ended up happening was uh, he activated Dragoon, I chained the Al Mirage, and he had a call by the grave. And the call by the grave banished my Al Mirage, meaning that I couldn't protect the Caesar Valleys, and I lost 3k life points. Um, so in hindsight, 
um, like maybe drawing two cards out of Heavy Burger could have been the other choice. Um, uh, at the end, the, the, the life point uh, deficit was just way too high. Um, like I, I, I burned him for 3k, but he also burned me for 3k, and then. The Dragoon punched over the Dempsey, which made him win by 700 life points. Uh, because the Diddy Crow was pretty much just not enough. Um, if you're a Vanquish Soul player and you understood all of that, um, like, let me know in the comments like if you had like another way for you to do uh, another play similar. Like, because I know another play could have been like Summon Rock the Vanquisher. Um, and just use and try to just sum resummon the Rosin, the Rosin to special summon, Rosin to grab Pantera, and then try to summon the Caesar, and then Caesar reveal Pantera, make him unaffected, and then at that point, uh, where if I had the protection from the King Dempsey, uh, he couldn't destroy neither the King Dempsey or the Caesar. Uh, he could pop the, the rock, but I would not have taken any damage. Uh, and he pretty much uh, has to like punch over this with the Dragoon. Or just be forced to just pass turn. And then I can try to play the next turn afterwards. Um, so that was like one other option. Um... But at the end, uh, I I did not do that, and that what lost me the, the my second game uh, in today's round. Now that I explained all of that, I guess I should talk about um, how I reached the conclusion of playing Vanquish Soul. Um, as you guys already knew, at least people who have been watching my videos uh, prior. Uh, my deck of the format was being what well, before this was rescue ace um, I tried to like perfect rescue ace and make it fit for me uh, like well in the uh, Positioned in the format and like just make it so I could just try to play against like everything my opponent could have uh, with that strategy uh, no matter what deck I was facing um my biggest issue with Rescue Ace was that I just kept breaking on non-engine. Like, the biggest weakness of Rescue Ace at the moment is that you have a bunch of engine requirement cards. And if you don't open your starters, or you or your opponent uh, like stops your starters on the spot, uh, and you don't play well or maneuver well your cards into your opponent, uh, he can just like take advantage of the duel like immediately and you are pretty much like forced to play on the spot like with whatever cards you have another issue is if you go second and you see those non-engine cards they are way less impactful um into your opponent's board meaning that uh you are just in a very weird linchpin situation uh so that's what happened with Rescue Ace. Um, before I played Vanquish Soul, I tried to go back to Scareclaw, uh, the Scareclaw Castillo Adventure deck. However, my issue with the deck is that it's super weak to draw in Lockbird. And my opponent, and like, I played at Locals uh, Thursday, and I just lost like three to four games in a row because my opponent opened Draw in Lockbird. And I didn't open the right cards to just handle that um, that hand trap. And whenever those situations happen, you have to either A, play like other non-engine cards that try to like counter your opponent's uh, hand traps. Like cross out, uh, like cross out Designator or Sales Ban, uh, just to name a few examples. Or uh, you're pretty much like uh, force yourself to build your deck to make it 
to you having other cards that let you play the following turns if your current turn is just skipped by your opponent uh, drawing lock burning you. And at, th at that point, I pretty much arrived at the conclusion that uh, Scareclaw is just not a really good fit in this current format because the counters, the heavy counters for it are just way too common. Um, Manadium is like a slightly stronger combo deck and that deck also has its issues. Um, and so basically on Thursday night, uh, shout out to Juan. Um, he lended me the entire Vanquish Soul deck and I pretty much uh, arrived at the conclusion that Vanquish Soul was a very good fit for me because... Uh, the deck, even though uh, the main plays you want to do with the deck can be faulted by hand traps, it's not like something that literally like stops you entirely from playing your strategy. Um, another really cool thing about the deck is that the deck is actually very, very consistent, um, especially now with the access to King Dempsey. Um, you have like another card that serves with any of their vanquish names uh, at least the low level ones which makes it like more and more prevalent and playable for you to like start your place even though you do not open Rosin. Um, you also have uh, cards like stake your soul and the small world which gets you to that as well um, another really cool thing about the, I, I liked about the deck is that uh, you can play a fair amount of non-engine and like adapt the deck into like whatever is popular in the format. Um, and I guess one other thing to bring up is that the deck is kind of future-proof because we are getting more support in Age of Overlord and the support not only does it really help the deck as well, but it makes it a lot more interesting in like how to interact with certain matchups um etc etc but yeah um uh i really really like this deck um i don't think i would stop playing this deck or like my main like two of my main losses today was pretty much like me misplaying with the deck, me misplaying with my opponent's cards, and whenever those kind of losses happen, I am not like discouraged into playing a strategy because it pretty much means that uh, I still have a lot to learn uh, as a player. It means that uh, maybe if I play well enough with a deck, um, uh, like. I can do better and better uh, as I know more matchups. Uh, there will be times where I'll just be going to break with my cards. And if that happens, it's just part of the game. Um, but as of uh, as of uh, playing the past two events, I don't regret this decision at all. I think this deck is very, very underrated. Um, I think people are not respecting the deck enough. Like, I won one game against Purely because my opponent tried to Valor this, and I had the and I had the Hiking Caesar, uh, the, van the Caesar values. Uh, so I just dodged the Valor, this, re this resolved, and I just kept playing. Um, so, like, as more and more players nice play against this deck, uh, the better it is for you, like, playing the strategy. And like moving forward, like uh, I'm going to keep testing other strategies. Uh, one deck that I kind of want to t uh, try out is like the Volcanic deck. Uh, if I get all the cards, um, I also want to build Gem Knight again. Uh, expect more Gem Knight videos uh, in the future. Um, I'm waiting for Age of Overlord because if the Tistina support is actually very decent and playable, uh, I might play that uh, again, like somehow, some way. Um, I'm going to give Rescue Ace another chance, uh, maybe in the future, 
maybe if I find like a better build that suits me or maybe just wait for the uh, like the sinful spoils um, like like the sinful spoils engine with the snake eye cards uh, to like play it with the rescue ace strategy that deck has been doing very very well in the OCG and I don't think that it's not going to happen in the TCG I think those cards are very very strong so um, yeah um, expect a lot of things um, in the future uh, content wise but yeah, uh, that's it from me. I hope you found this video informative or to your liking. Um, as always, keep practicing and keep dueling.